Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to discuss P and P problems, NP complete and NP hard. I'm going to discuss this in next tutorial. So, uh, first of all, before discussing the class problems, uh, let's see how we are identifying if I efficiency of a program. So, when we take a program, we actually look for execution time. Okay, so execution time is a measurement for efficiency of a program, but when it comes to algorithm, uh, there is no time. So algorithm efficiency is uh, represented by complexity. Okay, and uh, what is complexity? So let's take a one simple example. Let's say we are having a problem to find out a smallest number in a given array. So what we will do, we will take a variable min and in this variable we will store the first element then we will compare that element with the rest of elements and if we find any element which is less than this, this min variable, we will store that value in this one. So let's say if we are having an array of three elements. So we will store uh, some value in this one and we will compare this variable with each of the element of array so as we are increasing the size so here we need to compare three times here we need to compare five times and in case of n we need to compare for n times uh, in case if you are taking first element in this variable so this number will be reduced by one but uh, when we look for a larger number then it won't make any difference so the thing is that if uh, for this problem we are having n elements we need to go for n comparison so the cost for this algorithm we can write this is the cost n so we can represent using big O notation big O n now uh, let's say someone has provided solution for this problem and he has given you that this is the smallest a uh, number for this array so how you are going to verify it so for verification again what you have what you will do you will check whether in array there is any element which is smaller than that element or not so in case if you won't find any other element which is less than the minimum element in that case that solution is correct so for verification again you have to compare this minimum element with every element of array so in verification phase as well there are n comparison so complexity will be n so we have discussed two part one part is the solution part another part is the verification part so the solution part we have seen the complexity was n in the verification part complexity again was n now let's have a look on another kind of problem let's say we are having a problem of sudoku and uh, we want to write a computer program for this problem now let's say in this problem there are 50 boxes which are empty now we know that uh, for every box there are nine possibilities one two three four five six seven eight nine so roughly if we are going to estimate for 50 boxes there will be that many number of solutions so if you're going to compute if you're going to try these many number of solutions, it will take months or years or decades so the thing is that when your complexity is in this term like uh, k to the power n where n is the input size so in mathematics this term is actually referred as exponential where k is constant and n is variable and as your sudoku will increase so as this number of n will increase your number of solution will also increase exponentially and it become very harder for a computer program it's not that your computer program cannot find the solution but the brute force approach like uh, trying every solution it will take a long time and uh, we usually don't wait for that long like years or decades uh, this is the another kind of problem like we are having a sitting arrangement there are n courses there are five days 
and uh, we are having a six month semester duration so if you want to find out a optimal schedule where no where no student has to take two examination on the same day so this is a only a rough estimation so for this kind of complexity that many number of years will be taken by a machine or by a computer and we are having only a six month semester so the thing is that the time we are having is less we need to find a solution in that duration so uh, now let's see the another aspect of these problems uh, so the problem is we need to solve sudoku there are that many number of solutions so if we are going to write a computer program that program will going to take a long 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 time uh, so we actually looking for a better solution so the thing is that uh, the solution for such kind of problems are very hard okay but if someone has provided you a solved sudoku and ask you whether it is correct or not so yeah, it will take very less time for you to check whether the solution is correct or not you will check every boxes and you will follow all the rules so in case of verification it's easier so if we look at these two uh, parts so problem solution in these kind of problems are hard whereas the verification is much easier okay this is another problem like coloring a graph in such a way that each adjacent node has a different color so we have to try every possible options every uh, in every way and in this in the same uh, problem will occur like uh, there will be a huge number of option and if our computer is going to try all those options then there will be a long long delay and we don't have that much time so solution is harder verification is easy so in the same problem if some solution is provided to you you can easily verify you can check every node whether this property is being followed in that graph or not so uh, if a complexity is represented like this one n n square n cube or n to the power k these are known as polynomial okay so if a problem can be solved in polynomial time like uh, the first problem we have seen finding a minimum element in array so the complexity of that problem was n so if is there any problem which can be solved in polynomial time those problems are categorized under p class problem now another aspect is that if there is a problem whose uh, polynomial time uh, algorithm is not known is not available or we can say if a problem can be verified in polynomial time now for verification we are going only for yes instance like if a sudoku problem is given to you and a wrong a correct answer is provided so you can check in polynomial time so if the yes instance of a problem can be verified in polynomial time those problems comes under NP class problems now you might be wondering what happened for no instance like if someone has provided a wrong sudoku solution and asked to verify so those problems actually comes under co NP okay so for no instance there is one more category co NP so let me explain it again so class p problem if a problem can be solved in polynomial time on a regular computer and that problem is known as class p problem or another way we can say a class p problem when we go for any solution when we are trying solutions so we actually go for deterministic approach i will show you what is deterministic approach and in computer science if algorithm is taking polynomial time that algorithm is considered efficient as compared to algorithm which is taking exponential time so for class p if a problem can be solved in polynomial time 
on a regular computer that is a class B problem. So the thing is that if a problem can be solved in polynomial time, so obviously that problem can also be verified in polynomial time, hence it's actually uh, satisfying the property of NP class problem. Now what is NP problem? NP this N actually stands for non-deterministic. So NP problems are problems. So which can be solved in polynomial time on non-deterministic Turing machine. So let's say for this uh, uh, for time being we are going for this definition like uh, if a problem uh, which can be verified in polynomial time that problem can be categorized under NP class. Now what is the meaning of this one like can be solved in polynomial time on non-deterministic Turing machine. So non-deterministic Turing machine you can say this is much better than the regular computer like here we have mentioned if a problem can be solved in polynomial time on regular computer. So this machine non-deterministic Turing machine is much better is way better than the regular computer. So this is the special case and this is much better than this regular computer so class P problem can also be solved in polynomial time on this one so let me show you what is the meaning of this one so let's say we are having this problem uh, we need to find out x in this set such a way that x multiply with 100 minus x give you 2100 so we are having this set what we need to do we need to try for that many number of options we first we will take x equal to 1 we will put this value we will check whether this is satisfied or not if no then we go for next this one then this one then this one so in this solution approach we actually aware of the about the next option like if we have tried x equal to 3 we know okay next uh, the next option what we have to try is equal is x equal to 4 and after this one we know we need to try for 5 then 6 then 7 then 8 so we actually know what is the next value which are which we are going to try so this is deterministic approach now if we are going for find out sitting arrangement for examination of n courses on 10 days so if we are going to try all options so it will take decades or thousand of years and we don't have that much time if we are having a six month semester so what we are going to do we are going to take a random sitting arrangement we will see whether this arrangement is according to our requirement or not so in this solution approach we are taking every sitting arrangement randomly we don't know after trying this arrangement what is the next one okay so this is known as non-deterministic approach so as far as this uh, this subset is concerned all P class problems actually comes under NP okay because uh, if a problem can be solved in polynomial time obviously that can be verified in polynomial time and that is the property of NP like a problem which can be verified in polynomial time another way we can say Polynomial problem, there sorry, this P class problem can be solved on regular computer in polynomial time. Whereas this NP says NP class problem can be solved in polynomial time on non deterministic Turing machine. So, non deterministic Turing machine is much better than the regular computer. So, this P class problem obviously can be solved on non deterministic Turing machine as well. So, this is the uh, representation of P and NP class problem. So in next video I am going to discuss NP complete and NP hard problems. Thank you very much for watching.